Well that's us arrived at Killowin and Ian uh, is probably about another hour and a half away so we've got plenty of time to tinker with our gear, get our rucksack sorted before we start this. Ian's had babysitting issues so that's why he's running late. That there is our target, it's the first Corbett. Good entrance, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Always one, spoiler not one. <laughs> That's us off now. Heading up for our first Corbett and hopefully a summit camp up there tonight. It's maybe a bit breeze in the tops, so hopefully we can find some shelter up there. You got a cross cave? No worth it mate, don't do that! Don't do that! If I get over there I won't get back! <laughs> Well, we've got this little bump behind us and that's, that's us almost on the summit and then we just need to find somewhere to pitch the tents for the night So uh, you've got sky over here but it's, it's quite hazy at the moment You've got the Napo Cross Peninsula, the two hills, the two corbets over there There's Kev just coming up This haze is meant to burn off for tomorrow though so it should be a really good day That'll be the Munro Bend Screel Ah, yes. Here's our summit, just to the left there. It's a fine looking Corbett. This is our second corb over there but probably not got enough time tonight so we're going to try and find somewhere sheltered and camp over here. Hopefully out the wind. Well that's the tarp pitched, Ian's up, so's Kev, so we're all pretty much sorted, we're all hungry so we're just getting some dinner squared up. Dinner tonight, I'm having pasta carbonara from Blaband, 
Blood Banter is still my favourite. Out of all the uh, freeze dry meals I've tried, I've tried a few Blab in, Fire Pot, Summit to Eat, Mountain House, a couple of others. These ones, always the best, definitely. Well, this isn't just ordinary food, this is freeze dried food. Mm. Spaghetti carbonara, some of the pasta shells are still crispy. And this isn't just coffee, this is instant sashi coffee. Mm. Magic when you're camping. <laughs> So just a quick review on the map, we're parked there, we walked along here, took this path in between the two buildings, there was that funny bridge from earlier, and then we followed this path so far, then we came off and then we picked up this top here, and it was just a short pull up to the summit, and then down here, it was a bit windy around here, we wanted to push on a bit, so we came down this ridge a bit and then we're camped right in front of that number 99 there, about 700 metres. So then tomorrow we're going to continue on down this ridge. Avoid that top there, skirt around that, up here into the summit of this core, but here. And then we're going to have to try and find this stalker's path here, right down here. And then we're going to park company, me and Kev are going to do an IFU, and then Ian's going to push on and do a grey on that's off the map. So that's us all going to bed now. Still keeping an eye on that fire outside though. Anyway, I'm off to bed so uh, catch us in the morning. Good morning campers. Well I'm glad, I'm glad that I brought the winter sleeping bag with me because it's minus three at the moment. But I'm proper toasty, so... The fires went out last night, but... There's still a couple rumbling on at the moment. And the sun is beginning to rise as well, so... I'll just show you current scenes. You can just see... A couple of the fires still going there. Head outside the top. The sun's going to rise just to the right of that uh, hill there behind the tents in the next half an hour. So I was packed up and ready to go. Continue this walk to the next core bit. It's a lot clearer today, which is good, because yesterday was really hazy. Yesterday was really uh, hazy. There's a wee buffy there, near Vue. It's a contender for one of the most remote, you could probably say arguably the most remote, 
boppy, but there's a couple in the Cairn Gorms that run it for its money. Fain Duran and the Tarp Hotel. <laughs> oh, get my boots clean. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. Last year was quite a good time, so, well, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Hello. This room's quite snug. See what's through here. Ah, this is quite nice. And there you go, the grand tour of Melville Buffet. I don't know if we've picked the best line to do this hill. We seem to be going over a lot of wet, undulating terrain. But to take my mind off it, I'm going to, nick I'm going to nickname this mountain the Three Sisters of Killillan because you've got the ridge we're going up, you've got that big central ridge with the steep drop and then you've got the west ridge there boom, three sisters we're getting closer, there it is there just need to get up over here and that's us start the traverse it was bang on 2 o'clock so we uh, got 6 hours solid of daylight so that, that's not an issue at all it's just where we're going to camp later on tonight just get a much needed breather. Get that pack off my, my back, man. Oh, I'll we'll start heading up there shortly. But that was a beast, that section coming through the boffy. <sighs> Ian's over there somewhere. And this is our last little rise, and we're up on the ridge proper. So we're not too far away from the, the top of the Corbett. We're sheltered at the moment, which is quite nice. I'm absolutely roasting. We've made it at 899 metres. This is the summit of Anik Vui, the Corbett. Okay. Well, hello. Oh, that was an epic Corbett. An epic. Oh, yeah. you break, oh. Three hours from the Boffy to the summit. That was a long, long. This is Ian just decided spontaneously to bag this Graham up here. It's about a 250 metre climb. But it saves him doing it in the morning. But me and Kevin are going to bother. We're no hardened Graham baggers like Ian. Some deer up on the hillside there as well. So we're going to head down to Iron Lodge and hopefully get somebody to pitch next to the lodge and then cook up dinner. There's our home for the night. Hopefully it's sheltered. I'm surprised the estate let this go into rack and ruin because it's quite a nice situation. Right, 
is there room for three tents around here? Maybe one there. It's not looking very promising. I'll check out in there later. Certainly no bowling greens here. Well, this is a bit grim. <laughs> I don't know if I'd like cooking here to be honest. It's a right strong petrol smell. It's a shame people leave rubbish behind. Bonkers, this place is just left to, re to rack and ruin, though. Again, come on, guys, take these home. <laughs> All right, let's have a look upstairs. Hope I don't fall through. Hello. In Homes Under the Hammer, here you have a fine Velux window with beautiful views out to the hillside. Here we have a free iron board and an immersion heater. And let me take you through to the main bedroom. You have a nice original fireplace, another Velux window and a nice chest of drawers. And a nice lampshade too. And here is the 1980s bathroom suite, complete with flaking walls. Oh, at least there's a shower. And here you'll find there's no running water. Imagine that came busting out and soaked me. And through here, we have the master bedroom. Again with two Velux windows and a fireplace and some lovely mould on the carpet. In the current housing market, this would fetch in the region of £255,000. Well, I'm not staying in here. Unless it was a storm or something, but it's a bit minging. At least I can charge my phone. Tired and hungry. We've scouted everywhere. This is where we found. Down there, it's all uneven. It's boggy. There's cow pat, and it's just not very good. You can smell the diesel for that tank. So we've settled up here. There's a nice waterfall there. And Ian's angry because I've took up a big footprint. <laughs> Well troops, we're off to bed, it's been a long day so catch us in the morning. Good morning campers! Good morning campers! Oh that was a good sleep. Managed to get a nice level pitch, totally unintentional. And it's a lot warmer last night, it was ranged between 2 to 4 degrees. So it was actually really warm. Well, that's us away now. This long walk out. <clears throat> Might get to the Contail Lodge in time for uh, lunch before the long drive home. <clears throat> Quite happy I've got tomorrow off work so I can just sort my gear out, air the tarp, have a lie in. Oh, 
Well, I've got about another five kilometers of this track to do. So what I'm going to do is sign out for now and just march on. And thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this film, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.